I'm going to try out a new joint I dreamt up and let you decide if it's either a savior or an unholy woodworking abomination. I'm in the process of building Steve Ramsey's lumber storage cart, and it has 10 dados in it, which I try to avoid whenever I can. I'm honestly not sure why, because I have the correct setup and the correct tools, I just don't like cutting them. Which made me start thinking about some of the different ways that you can join plywood together at a right angle, or a T-joint. The first and most simple alternative I thought of was the basic screw through one face and into the other piece of plywood. This is really fast, but not the cleanest joint, and it's inherently weak since the holding power of the screw more than likely is going to split the plywood. Plus, you have to be able to access the other side of the project. So this, not so much of a candidate. The dado still takes the cake. The next idea that ran through my head was pocket screws. They're fast, they're easy, they clamp the wood together while the glue dries, and they add a mechanical joint to it, but they're extra strong because the business end of the screw, the part with the threads, is going into cross grain of plywood. It's driving into this instead of driving into the end grain, which splits like we just saw. The big drawback to pocket screws, in my opinion, is they have a tendency to make the workpiece wander when the screws are driven home. That's a good 16th of an inch off. This can be avoided with some strategic clamping so that the workpiece has no place to move, but you still run the risk of improper alignment. The screw is driving at an angle, so having this backstop stops the wood from moving with the screw and going this way. I think the auto alignment feature of dados still kind of makes them a winner over pocket screws. Although, pocket screws do add a mechanical fastener to the joint, which is a good thing. Now recently I made this little doweling jig, and if you're curious about it, there's a video available on my channel, but I think this could be a genuine contender against the dado for a few reasons, but the biggest one being to make the joint, a dowel joint with this, all you need is a drill bit and a drill. On top of that, the joint is fast, it's easy, it aligns the workpiece, and adding a dowel to that joint makes it pretty strong. But on a big project like this, clamping really becomes an issue because most of us don't have clamps large enough or long enough to span this four foot distance and really apply ample pressure for a dowel joint while the glue dries. Even if we did, we'd only be able to do it on the ends because this piece is supposed to be centered on a 30 inch platform. That means one would have to have a C clamp in essence that can span 15 inches over, four feet down, and then another 15 inches over. And I don't know very many people that have those. I definitely don't. Now, Steve, in his video, he's building this on its side where he can screw in from the bottom to attach this piece to the platform. We've kind of already touched on that joint. I think it works totally fine in his case because he's slotting this into a dado. But I personally, when I can, like to build my projects from the base up, kind of like a house, foundation up. So I want to be able to build without having to flip the piece over back and forth. At this point, the dowel joint would take just as long as the dado since we can't remove the clamps and move on with the project until the glue is set. So, unfortunately, dados still win. Key joint. Dados. Pocket hole. Dowels. Pocket dowels. Once I thought of it, it seemed really obvious to combine dowels with pocket screws. The dowels are going to help align the joint precisely where you want it, and they're going to add a sort of pseudo tenon to the joint, while the pocket screws act as clamping force while the glue is drying, and on top of that, they're adding a mechanical fastener to the joint, which adds just extra strength. The dowels are also going to stop the workpiece from wandering while you drive the pocket screws home, and it's a lot cheaper than a good dado stack or a router.
So after building this cart, which is great, if you haven't built a lumber organization cart, I highly recommend it. Uh, you can, as you can tell, it's worked wonders on my shop already. And I really think that this joint has a chance of being a legitimate woodworking joint, but I'm on the fence about it, to be honest. If I had to build this again, even though I have a quality dado stack and I have the ability to do them and I've cut them before and I've cut rabbits before, I would probably still use the method on this that I did. It wasn't any faster. Uh, if anything, it probably took a little bit longer, but I did find the process a lot more enjoyable because I was not removing large amounts of material and if I screwed up, I didn't, ha I didn't waste a piece of plywood. I would just have to slightly move the hole a little bit, which is really nice. And is it stronger than a dado? That's yet to be determined. I think in some cases, it's probably just as strong. In some cases, a dado is probably gonna be a little bit stronger. But in this scenario, I think it works just fine. And pocket screws have been around for a while and have been proven to be reliable and strong enough. So I feel like adding a dowel to it not only makes them more precise, but adds an extra level of strength because you're adding in a tiny little pseudo tenon. Is this the joint for you to start using in a lot of projects? Maybe, maybe not. I would say if you're in a high production furniture shop, probably not. If you're putting together pieces occasionally and the thought of hogging out a bunch of material with a router or a dado stack or making shitloads of dust with a router, throws you off and you like the idea of drilling a couple holes a little bit better, then the pocket dowel might be the route for you. Either way, I plan on using it more in the future. I'm just not exactly sure where. And I'd really like to know what your thoughts on it, if it's a viable option or not. Prove me right, prove me wrong. I don't care, just prove me something. And if you haven't, in the meantime, make sure you check out the dowel jig build video and keep up the good work. <laughs> <laughs>